damage there somehow survives it he plays on either side of him he's gonna be peaked down he's gonna get one but the trade's gonna be coming through afro with one of his own as well and towards glowing suddenly this is a 1v4 how's this turn around but there's no kits on the side of heat so i think this is an impossible pass but they're gonna have to go and hold this the bomb is gonna potentially go down if they're no not ways. careful in this front the no time ways. is gonna be ticking one player left the grenade's gonna be dropped out he's got six and two point f8 hp and it does the job Travis trying to be uh, sneaky here, but he's not gonna make it work. Deco coming through. Gross was ready, but uh, didn't hit. Shot. Bosa in heaven. It's gonna get taken down. Deco though can strike. Can it bring it back to one versus two? And he actually has a chance here. Bob is gonna get planted, but AK is being down to 11 HP. Deco, he has some good information of where those players should be. Let's see if he can play around that. If he can isolate them, that's the isolated one versus one duel. Akers down to 11 HP. Deco predicts where he stands and is gonna take him down. What a clutch play by him. Flash bangs out, utility deployed. Charles Ludwig will be the first man in, but Black will quickly dispose of him. Jensi is chiming in as well. It's just Deco once again on AWP. Oh, He's saying duty, but he doesn't want to do that. Doable. He wants to get that bomb down. He wants to get the clutch going. 15 seconds. No he way. catches one more again, but they're going to be no beating way. him together. Deco. It's a 4K. Deco is an absolute madman. On B, as Vizsla, well, they're not getting much luck on the full buy rounds, but then they come in with, oh my gosh, Deco on the double. Even a triple coming in. That was a collat. Oh my God. It's like they had so many entries going for them, but then they just get shut down by the AWP. Three quick kills for him as they're suddenly looking for more, but now it's down to the rest of the counter-terrorist side to continue this push toward B, and well, the T's, they're falling like flies, aren't they? Deco even makes his way through the smoke. Oh man, Pulse, I think you got a bit ahead of the game there. Raven not coming up from ramp twice. Pulse, you should no be able to grab the way. Well, and extra with their backs against the walls. Maybe haven't got the job done just yet. Deco, he wants to try and find a better gun to work with. He picks up the best eagle. Pente Pulse, he gets, to, he gets destroyed. Deco, he steps out. He hits the shot with the deco. And the clue's in the name. This guy's a god with the desert eagle. Looks like it might be a save for one when Deco looks like he's going for it though, advancing into hut here. He's already got the op out single scoped. Decent HE into sight. What a spam shot through the hut. Lands the op headshot through the main hut wall onto Danico there as he was floating towards Mini. Deco now advancing into the side and gets the second kill as well. What a clutch from Deco. Rasko's favor. One win still looking to take control of A side. Smoke going out into mini Raven running into sight with his teammates. Raven and Deco able to land two quick headshots there, but there's nearly no time remaining. Deco going for the plant. He'll barely get it off with one second remaining there. 2v3 situation for one win, and this would be incredible if they pull this off. They bring it to a 2v2 after Deco lands that headshot peering through mini. Toxic able to take out Raven and Lobby though, and it's all up to Deco now. Sitting in a 1v2 here, half health, AK in hand. It's certainly doable! Hits the first headshot, and Lobby reloads. He's going up against an offer, spamming through HUD. Does land a significant amount of damage onto Wonderful, and he does finish the kill. Nice headshot there from Deco, and what a play from Deco, keeping his. Oh, Deco now, one versus two. It is looking like we may be going into ancient. Oh my god, Deco. No way. One versus two, clutch. And bye bye, ancient. Because look at the HP on Raidway Grand Dennis a lot. He has a nade. He's only really duplicate who can try and deal with any of this. But like I said, that nade, if he does decide to toss that into heaven, that's a, basically a guaranteed kill. That's one. Toss that nade back at the site instead. Not going to find anything with that. There to spam a connector of the shot from Deco. KD of five, and last man is duplicate here. Playing around the box, but he's gone higher. There it is. Deco with another. How do you do this? Four kills in their round of 26 kills to him. It's absolutely insane. Does he have enough time? I think he does, just barely. Oh, look at that.
But that T side still need to find a way to actually execute the round and the plan they have it in mind. Out to A seems to be the case. The CT defenders now with Deco is all that remains of it. Oh. Another shot. How is he still continuing? Oh. Deco, what are you doing? What is that? The triple. He's had a great round. Deco trying to save in clutch with the AK. He's getting wrapped in for the back line. Oh, two players bunched up allows the spray. Deco. Currently top fragging for his team. On to make it a triple clutch. Oh, LDLC. Perfectly. Nice find from Lollipop. Probably need this head. What? What? Okay. His crosshair was nowhere near him. Okay. I mean. What is that? Have at it, Deco. He's fast, isn't he? Goodness gracious me. He's always under pressure now. <laughs> Story's under a lot of pressure now. This could be a B-bomb site take again, which puts him in a tough situation, but Story does great to get one. Seven seconds on the clock. Bomb can go down. He's going to be under pressure. Nade coming in. That doesn't touch him, thankfully. Molly for the door. That means he can only focus on window. Doesn't need to worry about other positions. Oh. And he flicks fast to take Mutuous as well. Deco's showing no. up here. This guy is an absolute menace. Get him on land. Let's go to the RMR right now. I need to see it immediately. Oh into a two versus three bomb isn't planted certain is going to try and put this bomb down but shoe he puts Polt down and it's deco alone is this the end for one win on vertigo as deco has to pull off a one versus three it is going to be very difficult to get players out of these positions there's shane down though and now deco is just going to be holding shoey around the other side of that smoke oh. deco connects a one versus one as he Drops his pistol, now tries to peek around Zershan. He is behind the server, the smoke is beginning to clear. And Deco oh connects. My what God. a fantastic one versus three from the one win upper. Ready themselves for what will be the turning point of the early game. One win. They need this map real bad, as the trade is even so far. Deco though, destroying. Kicks down last one standing. They try and sell themselves dearly as they realize they are outgunned. Oh man, flash. Oh, they're going for the knife. Oh my gosh, double knife attempt. Two, two, still sorry. Oh, oh what is this shot, Zero? No way. All right then, Deco. We've had a 1v2 previous prior from PHR. It's up to you to make it work for your team now. Three in the round for Sparrow. He's so persistent with this orb right now. Oh, and both missed shots. The barrel through the smoke. The spray as well with the USP. And Jenka, he needs one bullet. He's got the bomb. Oh, it's 10 seconds as well. He needs to plant this now. He needs to go towards default. The orb holds the line. He knows where he is. Just get this bomb down, son. You need to. Because Deco's going to be able to run. He thinks it's a fake. Bomb goes down. And on the angle, oh, the orb Deco wins the 1v2. Three plays here for Deco to try and snipe it and all on his own. If he gets the bomb, this actually could have turned out to be a bit of a closer position than he initially thought. And Shell is that sting, but he's got a trade, but the first shot is still connecting. And surely he's not going to pull this off. Surely no. he's not going to pull this no. off, as Deco's got a 3k already. And a break out of 19 HP. Look at this, though. Deco swings, and oh there's my. another. He still Deco. continues to dream of just... And it's just no problem for him. Travis gets another, so he has to get three or four to shut out this round. And they're all going to come walking in one by one. Shock, a monstrous 4K may have single-handedly won this for Sinners. Oh, I can't believe how he locks that up by himself on the defense, man. Massive multi-kill coming uh -oh. through for him. Deco, though, looking to inflict a massive multi-frag of his own. He knows there are many players towards CT. Oscar looking to close the gap. He's edging his way forward yet towards Generator. But Deco, he could win this one right here, right now. Does he want to step out and force the fight? He does! And he connects on the shot. Deco! Kill that they desperately need. Deco, all alone. 20 seconds. No chance of bringing this one back home. Yeah. Next to no opportunities. I would hope he doesn't do this. Okay. Maybe he does. Nicker does. Eight seconds to go. What are you doing? Why are you staying? Deco is as of yet. But Adam could have a good timing here as he comes out of huts. He's going to be climbing on top as Deco exposes himself out of the door. He actually checks it though. That is presence of mind and a half to look for that after already being out, being out on the site already. Interesting. And he has full utility to go for this clutch now. Ooh. Oh. And he had already tossed out the nade, as you said that, predicting that and knowing what the, uh, knowing that potentially there was going to be someone wrapping in from heaven there, rather. And now just walking it back over and likely down ramp on towards B, where 
I believe it's going to be open. Where exactly is Isk? I'm struggling right Loftus, now. He's I think. Towards the A bump site. Yeah, he's actually made his way in from heaven. So he is not going to be ready for this at all. And if he wants to rotate down quickly through the vent, then obviously that's going to make his position more than known. So there should be plenty of time for Deco here to get the bomb down, to get into a strong position to play this after plant. And indeed, he hears the footsteps coming down. He has a molly he can drop if he wants. Instead, up on yeah. top of Silo, he just positions himself well. Completed as well. Good information for Team Unique because they've also spotted a play out towards long and in bathrooms. It looks like one one. They're just going to try and force the fight here. What can Duke Fisher do on the angle? He's been destroyed. And Winter needs to be careful. He needs to get back to the safety of the site. They're trying to chase him down right now. And he will just tuck around the corner. There's still time left on the clock here for one one to change things up. I feel like it's super obvious that they're going to be going A here. Deco posted on the angle. Tapping away will get the kill. He spots the arm of the second. If he gets the kill, it's huge. Oh my god, Deco, stop blowing my mind. Deco, playing around this site. They know he has to be here. He found that trade under VRSM. Or VSM. 15 seconds left. The call's given over. He has to pull out the USP. 10 seconds left. There's no bullets left. And Deco, what is that shot? Leo, sit down. One win, two.